instant gratification. That's what logging does to your timber. You look over here, these treetops down, all of this was wide open. These deer could see through the forest. They could see other deer. Obviously, they could see me approaching, but right now, by putting these treetops down, these deer feel secure to bed in here. And the goal with this logging project is to increase the wildlife habitat, increase the carrying capacity for mature bucks. Made it. <laughs> we did. Good morning. These beans are looking really good. Just the last few days, we caught a little bit of rain, and they have come on pretty good. But this drought condition, they've been bad. Well, you can't tell. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with the stand here, and they, you know, they look like they're doing well. So, give me your opinion whether we need to rip it up, go plant one of your mixes, or whether we want to drill right into it. I mean, this is the number one field on the farm. Like, this field has to be perfect, and not for turkey killing, Joe. All right. Okay, this is deer season. Deer on my brain. On me. It, I get it. All right. Well, if you guys want to uh, get unloaded, we'll go take a look. Yeah. So good. Made it. I did. I did. How are you doing? Excellent. Good Big trip. change of weather since you're here planting. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> 80 yes, sir. degrees and now it's overcast <laughs> and finally got some rain. It's just a little bit late. Mm -hmm. yep. A couple of the places, though, where we drilled it in. I mean, I, I was impressed. Given mm -hmm. the rain that we have, man, I'll, I'll take it. But here's our first victim of the year. <laughs> I rolled in, his head's everywhere, his antlers knocked off. So these bucks are starting to roll. Sounds great to me. Sounds I great. mean, this is a really first big cold snap. We had like one day, it frosted and warmed right back up to mm -hmm. 75. But like for continuous days, high pressure, everything over like 30.2 for the next three or four days. Sounds good to me. Oh, it's going to be good. Well, grab your bow and uh, we'll sling a couple hours and get ready for the morning. All right. All right. Thank you. 
Well, how was it? Couldn't have asked for a better sit. No kidding. This rocket literally walked up behind me, went right underneath the tree stand. What? Right under the stand. Was on a mission. He cruised that edge, and I thought I was going to have the opportunity. I really did. Uh, would have been about 38 yards. I thought he was going to turn. Definitely did not. And I was a little nervous to try to stop him yeah. and get him to turn, because if that didn't work out, probably wouldn't see that deer again. You did the right thing. This That's his core area. He's on that Reconyx religiously. Big frame. And then he had the what? Split two and the split three on the left. Oh yes. Oh yes. Another amazing sit. <laughs> You're kidding me. We have one combined over here. 37 yards. This close again. You're kidding. Had it at full draw. Was right there. Had it ranged it. Was ready. There was just a, a little bit of an obstruction. I could not get a full the shot. So I let him go. Was he just cruising parallel in the river? Oh, well, he, he actually came from the thick, the thick part of the woods. Came right down this little trail. And cut right there, um, went straight across. There was a doe over here most of the morning, and I think she was either hot or, or getting there. So he went across, and there was no pulling him back once he started over that way. Yeah. He, he was committed then. He was. He was. We got five days, and I don't really want to be on this farm for five days.
put me on the deer with the wildest names. And for some reason, we have a deer named Ronald now. They, they've seen him quite a bit lately. And I mean, we're in his, we're in his dining room right now. So I want to get some eyes on him. There's a bug. He's got a split brow on the left side. Double split toes. Rip, it's rip. Don't shoot him. Yeah, I dream of it. <laughs> oh, you're all smiles. Did you draw back? No, I, I didn't draw back, but do you want to talk about Rip? You saw him. 36 yards for 30 minutes. He's absolutely amazing. At 36 yards, he's really so, amazing. Double split twos and a dagger point. He's got that big dagger coming right off the base on the left side. Oh my gosh. He's good. Ronald's dead. stand for in the peak of the run. I just want to get that over with. <laughs> when well, Joe was able to get it done, he was able to put his tag on Ronald. So this is an ancient buck we have on the property, one of the more unique bucks we have, and one that you said was top on your list. He said he was the ugliest on the farm. I said, <laughs> put me on him. So I, think I, I, I think I said most unique. <laughs> he died within 50 yards. I mean, perfect heart shot. Obviously on the, the other side here, I can still see the tree stand, but uh, it's always great to get that text 30 minutes after sunrise saying, big buck down. So you know what this means now. You gotta come back for turkey season. Done. Done? Done. I'll, I'll be a guide. <laughs> well, let's get him out so I can get back in the tree stand. Sounds good.